viscosity of a fluid viscosity is a measure of fluid resistance to flow let's say we have a fluid on a table viscosity describe the internal friction of a moving fluid a fluid with large viscosity resists motion because its molecular make up gives it a lot of internal friction like honey it's more viscous than water a fluid with low viscosity flows easily because its molecular makeup results in very little friction when it is in gases also have viscosity although it is a little harder to notice it in ordinary circumstances imagine a styrofoam cup with a hole in the bottom if I then pour honey into the cup I will find that the cup drains very slowly that is because honey's viscosity is large compared to the other liquids viscosities if I fill the same cup with water like we have here the cup will drain much more quickly viscosity is designated by mu it's the measure of its resistance to shear let's say this is my hand right now if I moved my hand on the table in any direction I'm going to make a shear stress on my hand that is called shear stress while if I hit the table that would be normal stress shear is like friction it is well known that the viscosity of a liquid decreases when its temperature increases for example lubricating oil in your motor car in the case of gases however the opposite is true when I increase the temperature of a gas its viscosity will increase and when I decrease its temperature its viscosity will decrease they are both fluid then why is this happening I will explain it in a bit the reason for this opposing behavior lies in the different levels of molecular interaction of the two fluids the interaction between the molecules of the liquid is different from the interaction of the molecules of the gas let's now discuss the term visco what the term viscosity means let's say we have a fixed plate this one and a moving plate so when I move this plate it will make an angle delta beta if we have a point B here will move to a point B prime with a distance delta A what we need to know is the rate of the, she the shearing uh, strain let me tell you some uh, the difference between the shearing strain and the shearing stress the shearing stress is how much force is taken by an object of particular size the shear stress symbol is tau therefore shear force divided by the area under shear clearly increasing the force uh, or decreasing the size or, or cross-sectional area will result in, a, in large stresses while the shear strain uh, symbol gamma is a measure of the deflection caused by a shear stress the rate of shearing strain when you hear the word rate you should know that time is included it's the speed of the moving fluid that would be the viscosity if it was viscous it would not it will not move and if its viscosity was very low it will move very fast since delta beta is so small tangent delta beta will be almost equal to delta beta equal to the opposite over adjacent delta a over b so I calculate the limit delta beta over delta t which which is delta a over delta b times t which is distance over time which is velocity which would be equal to du over dy 
that would be the shearing strain the rate of sh the shearing strain we all know that the shearing stress is linear with the shearing strain since if I put a larger force it would move more it's proportional so this is why tau is proportional to du over dy now I will tell you why it's different in gas and in liquid shear in a fluid momentum transfer between adjacent layers moving at different velocities what does that mean let's say I made some stress on a gas it will gain velocity and it will gain momentum so the lower layer will be affected the upper layer will give velocity to the lower layer and so on so when this layer hits this layer the lower layer will start to accelerate while the above layer will, will decelerate so what is happening here when a temperature increases in a gas the translation of energy increases so the molecules molecules change the velocities rapidly in a hot fluid so the molecules will jump from a layer to a layer more rapidly cause you are transferring more momentum so as a conclusion viscosity of a gas increases as the temperature increases so let's see what happens in a liquid a liquid occupies a smaller volume than gas for same mass imagine you are in a 5 meter square room we all know that EV equal rho RT let's say the temperature is 300 Kelvin and the density is almost equal to 1.2 kilogram per meter cube I can get the pressure let's say it's 970 bar uh, I know R I can know the specific volume the specific volume V is equal to the big V over the mass so you could get the mass of air in that room I didn't do the calculations but it's almost 50 to 60 kilograms of air so we agree that the liquid occupies a smaller volume than a gas liquid molecules are much closer than those of a gas thus they have stronger intermolecular attraction if I want to overcome the friction between the molecules I need much more energy the forces between the molecules is equal to m dot m over r square which is the distance which is approximately equal to 0 0.4 times latent heat of vaporization so what would happen to the molecules of the hot liquid they have high translational energy but they have less work done to change position because they are close to each other so they will experience less retaining force from pre previous layer compared to cold liquid so layers can slip more freely over each other the molecules will jump immediately that's why the viscosity of a liquid decreases as temperature increases and the opposite is true